he thinks he didn't, he can petition and we'll look into it. But I mean, if he did, we know, we'll know he did. And him just talking and saying he didn't won't get his account back. But that being said, if he's guilty, we'll look it up, or innocent, we'll look it up, we'll ask him to explain some stuff. And mm -hmm. after he does, if it checks out, he'll probably be released. Like, we don't want to just keep people banned or just ban people for the sake of doing it. That's horrible. But, but uh, you know, when we know that you're guilty or when you appear very, very guilty, then you're going to get banned. And that's just it. I know <laughs> I had to unban probably 12 or 13 of the people that I banned for the RMT thing recently. All right, we lost Talon. I'm just going to remove him because Skype is trying so hard to add him back in the call, and it's just not working at all. His What's... sky was so pretty, though. His sky is pretty. I'll give him that. <laughs> oh, I didn't put the skies in my thing. I just didn't do it. Are you showing any pictures in your stream? Is my internet that slow that I'm not getting your pictures? I was zoning. I'm not showing pictures, but I was literally just zoning, so if it was still, that might be why. But it shouldn't be still now. I'm looking at it on uh, another monitor, and it's okay. running in Solby. Yeah, I have the worst internet service possible. Not worse than telling. You <laughs> <laughs> know. You know. All right. Uh, what's next? next? Question. If by chance live EQ gets closed down, will P99 be able to support all the new people that will probably come to P99 to continue their EQ crack fix? Oh, man. In other words, what's our server capacity look like? I don't think... I have no idea. But I don't think we'll hit it no matter what. Um, I don't think... If EQ1 was just shut down, if the devs were like, Oh, yeah, we just... We just... We're done. And they shut that down... I don't think a lot of their players would play here, to be perfectly honest. I think the people who are happy playing EQ1 in the state that it's in right now, I don't think they'd enjoy P99 at all. And I know a lot of people, Nix, you can speak to this because you're a hmm. player. I don't think a yep. lot of players on P99, I don't think they would play on, if P99 shut down right now, I don't think that... I would not would go back go, to live. Yeah, I don't think... Like, I just don't think our player bases are compatible. I don't think they want the same thing. And so yeah. I don't think EQ1 players would flock here. And if they did, I don't think they'd stay here. Yeah, my husband <clears throat> plays still on live, and, and he's he's busy enjoying all of the, the weird stuff that they put in it that wasn't classic. Has he ever and, tried P99? No, he hasn't. Mm, does he tell you you're dumb for playing it? Yes. Because I don't have all of my goodies I had on live. And all the cheats and the quick ports and the, you can hire hire mercenaries to do all kinds of stuff for you. And, oh, but the community's not there. It's not the same game. Yeah, you're right. We have community nerds. Oh, <laughs> should I... Mm. I recently was listening to a stream. I just, I, I just now decided. I won't name any names. <laughs> But I was listening to a stream, and there was a person talking about EverQuest, and they were saying that they three boxed all the time, and that's just a testament to how awesome they were, because they would have all these things running multiple, uh, not like, you know, cheating, but actually running three different characters at the same time, and how that should be a thing. And, and, oh... It made all the hairs on the back of my head, ha neck, not head, on the back of my neck stand up, and I was not pleased. I won't, I won't post links, but there's a thread on the P99 boards where I actually posted a link, and it has a timestamp, and you can listen to this person talk about it. It was very upsetting to me. You might not see me do a lot of two boxing bands, but that's just because. I'm busy with other things, but oh my god. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give uh EQ people a free pro tip for their new upcoming progression server. Don't allow boxing. I know I mean unless you're charging subs, then do whatever. 
but assuming you're not going to charge subs for EQ1, um, don't allow boxing. Sub subscriptions. Okay, yeah. got it. It's going to ruin their community. You can't have a community with boxing. And mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of people who are like, Oh, but I love it. It's so much fun. It doesn't hurt anything. I just use one other character. I'm only two bucks. And what does it hurt? I just get to do my thing. I don't even have a lot of time. I just want to do what I want to do in my time. Then go play fucking Skyrim. I mean, <clears throat> that's that's not EverQuest. And the fact that you need people for things like buffs and ports and to get jewelry made and all the different things because every class is not created equally... That's what builds and forces said community to exist. You take all that shit away, either through boxing or through in-game features, and you slowly just crumple the absolute hell out of your community. And so we won't allow two boxing, even though I know one very, very respected staff member, not really, uh, we'll say dev, one very, very highly respected P99 dev, he won't play here because we won't let him two box. And I think that's adorable. He's afraid you know me, I will catch him and ban him. Well, I would. <laughs> well, you'd have to catch him first. I would. I'll get all you boxers <laughs> sooner or later. Oh, man. <laughs> that's how you would get Red Server. <laughs> get him on boxing. Ugh. Spoiler, it's Rogan. No, Olaris, it's a dev. It's not a actual staff member. <laughs> and Rogan's not allowed to play. If I found out Rogan was playing on P99, I would be so mad. <laughs> I would be so mad. Because sometimes, Elrond, I'm going to tell you right now, if you harass Unomia, I will, I will witch hunt you on every goddamn medium that I can until all power is taken from me. Um, <clears throat> I forgot what I was saying because I saw Unomia's name next to Elrond's name. <laughs> and so it just derailed my whole thinking process. Give me another question, Uber Bandit. Uh, you should look at your Skype quick. I should look at my Skype, he says. Are you sending private, private messages? Yeah, you know what? You can ask that. All right, then we have the question. Because I know it's a shitty thing, but there's a lot of people who bring it up. I see it all the time. So. What is it? Is it about the unfairness to TMO? I'm just well, kidding. I know. It's always about TMO. <laughs> I know. There's a lot. There's a lot of unfairness for TMO. If I ask the rest of the server, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure they're going to come forth in droves at sob stories. Um, but yeah, you can ask that. Ask it, Uber Bandit. All right. When will accounts banned by Darabale re be restored since Darabale was already himself running the old GM RMT scandal? Yeah, that's absolutely not a thing. Darabale retired, and if you were banned by him, it, like, we don't just, we don't just unban people when we lose a staff member. Um, the people that Uthgard banned were still banned and melinda's band stayed banned epfi's band stay banned sir if i ever retire or or get removed from staff or anything my bands will stay bands um like for the most part bands are legit if you feel you were uh honest to goodness illegitimately banned go ahead and petition form it but if you do that and we look up the thread and we look up the stuff and we see that you're just guilty as shit, mm. we're not going to unban you just because the person who banned you is no longer here. That's not like, uh, that's just not a policy or a thing that we do. And, and yeah, I've seen that in multiple places, so I'm glad we got to address it here. Um, someone wants to know why Rogan can't play. Uh, GMs aren't allowed to play. It's pretty. It's conflict of interest thing. So yeah. But, could, yeah. Could Rogan play on a character named Rogan and then like just change his name something? If the character was named Rogan, why would he change his name? 
so he could run fast through Solby. All right. First of all, if Rogan was allowed to play, he wouldn't be allowed to fucking cheat. <laughs> That's how you know me. Ends up banning Rogan for fucking hacks. That would be, that would be a good CSR conversation though. Oh, <laughs> uh, one day, one day I'm not going to be on staff anymore, and I'm going to write a book. And I'm gonna I'm gonna keep all the logs from our CSR chat, and I'm gonna give it all to the public. Because let me tell you, we talk about some amazing things sometimes. I'm gonna get together with all the other nerds that know all the other secrets, and we're all just gonna write long ass chapters on the true behind the scene history of P99. And I've already decided I'm gonna have Tiggles write the the foreword, and we'll have like something by chest at the end. It'll be wonderful. It would be absolutely wonderful. I think Tiggles could write the whole thing because he really does know everything that's going on. Tiggles could write a whole <laughs> fucking trilogy of books. Like, this is why I'm great. This is why the rest of you are scrubs. <laughs> All bow down before me. But for 5,000 pages. <clears throat> oh, shit. We got trouble. Can we? One simple question fast. Will Slash Melody ever be a part of P99? Uh, I don't think Melody is classic. I'm like 99% sure that it's well after Melius. Um, it might be. It, I'm pretty sure it is too. I feel like it's, uh, oh shit. I don't know. It's definitely not classic though. Sorry, Bards. But the answer is if it's Lucklin and will never be in your video game. Ever. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, we're not going past that. Um, 